Welcome to 100% LCFC, here with uh, Alan Young, as you can see. Uh, Alan, a, a quick reflection before we talk about Barry tonight on the draw over Spurs on, on Saturday. You know, a, a decent point, really. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think before the game, well, me personally, John, I fancied, I fancied us to win the game. But as, as the game panned out, Spurs didn't come and excite me. for. They, they just kept the ball and passed it and back to the halfway line. In fact, pretty boring, to be honest with you. Never really caused us too many problems. But then they popped up with a goal. Um, I think Jeff Schlup, young Jeffrey, looking at it in hindsight, he's a wee bit caught mm. out of position. Um, and the boys come in headed at the far post. Do you come back from that, John? There's only minutes left. But straight away, the best time to score is... I, well, I say, they say it's right after the opposition scores, but <laughs> that's a bit of a, you know, a nonsense that... But uh, Mares, the young lad, not the greatest of games, but he popped up, went up mad, stuck it in. And coming home and talking to the supporters, John, they're all a wee bit disappointed with one each. So maybe that shows just That's how good far sign. we've come. Yeah. Aye, absolutely. And obviously everybody excited about the new signings. That Inla made his debut, had a little bit of him. We'll obviously yeah. see more yeah. against Berry, but that's quite exciting as well, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely, John. I mean, Mr. Ranieri's kept the team pretty much as it was at the end of last season. And then you look at the bench, there's, a, there's millions and millions and millions of pounds sat there, you know. And and when would we ever say, when was the last time we saw that at Leicester City? I mean, we're all, we're all talking about Chelsea's and Liverpool's and Arsenal's sat with all this money on the bench. And they, they, they can't get in the team because the team's playing well. And that's great. That's a great thing. But they'll get, the, they'll get a chance tonight at Gig Lane. Good luck, fellas. It's not <laughs> the greatest of places to go on a Tuesday night. But um, I think there'll be, instead of being 30-odd million on the bench, there'll be 30-odd million on the pitch, John. So, as you predicted, really, at the weekend, the 11 changes for tonight gives an opportunity for the new signings and other players like your Cramerichs and your Joes up front to, to, you know, get a game. Absolutely. You get the minutes in, John. That's important. You know, you get your, you get your match fitness, as we call it. It's all very well. You can run all day, run up hills, run everything, but play in games. It's a different kind of fitness. So you get your match fitness. Every player needs that. That's why Harry Kane, I think, he was a, he was an embarrassment on Saturday, by the way. Roy Hodgson, you came and you watched. I hope you're watching the right, the right striker, by the way. And uh, Mark Albrighton. <laughs> He's the two that you need to get in your team, son. Yeah. Anyway, um, Gig Lane, you know, they, Barry, they, they, they'll look at and they'll look at all these internationals and they'll think, God, you know, they'll, they'll either be motivated or overcome. Yeah, I mean, some teams do get motivated by big teams arriving and Leicester, in context of what we're talking about tonight, are a big team. And looking at the side, it looks like a three centre-back system. Do you think he's going to try that tonight? I think so. Ben, I, by, I keep saying Ben Ayun, but I know it's not his right name. Um, uh, Vasilevsky and Liam Moore I think they'll be a back three tonight Fuchs pushing on the left and young Dodu he's getting rave reports in the under 21s mm. John he'll play on the other side and I would think Dean Hammond uh, in laugh look out referee by the way <laughs> <laughs> if he comes anywhere near you yeah. start running yeah, he'll be running away be coming <laughs> high. and Kante in the midfield and then you Joe and Kamaric up front I mean that's a team that you could play on Saturday against Bournemouth yeah. never mind he's Berry away you know all these internationals, captains of their, 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 their country. It's a magnificent, it's a great team. Uh, obviously, you know, in the 90s, Leicester made a habit of getting to League Cup finals and doing well in the Premier League. It'd be good to kind of repeat that this season, wouldn't it? Well, it will. It'd be absolutely brilliant. And no one's just holding up a card there telling me it's <laughs> Ben Aluan. Ben Aluan. Ben Aluan. Uh, here, yeah. folks, we'll, look we'll here. Yeah. This is a, Ben Aluan. This is Owen, and this is, this is the name of our centre half, all right? We have <laughs> I'm blooming I'm blooming hopeless. Nice to see we have assistance. Well, I know, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you get a job on countdown, son. Yeah, but a le you know uh, a good league position at the end of the season. I know you're predicting quite high. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying, John. <coughs> Absolutely, and and I'm with you with that. But as a player, as a footballer, as an ex-footballer, I would be saying, I would be looking around my dressing room and I'm going, we have a right chance here. We've got a great chance here of doing something special this season. There will be a time in the season where your form dips. Or, or to, put it, to put it differently, the form of three or four or five players dip, right? And that will affect the whole of the team. 
But we have got the strength and depth mm. to bring players in, to freshen it up. Injuries, suspensions, all play a part. It's how you manage them and how you manage the game. So, Mr. Ranieri, so far, saying all the right things, making all the decisions that are coming good for him, and, and fair play to him, and fair play to the players. Transfer deadline approaching. He hasn't ruled out bringing anybody else in, has he, really? I mean, he's kind of suggested that he might still bring a player or I two. I think he's a wee bit more concerned at keeping what he's got. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's that, he said hands off, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Against Mares, you know, he, yeah. he's he's a hot property at the minute. I think there's one or two players that might find their way out of the club as well. Um, Liam, Moore, Liam Moore, do you think Liam Moore? No, I, no, I think you've got to hang on to Liam. Yeah, I think he's got he's got more to come. I really do. Um, and Danny Simpson, I think he'll be struggling to get a place inside. He's not. I wouldn't think he's going to be playing tonight, and I think that tells you uh, an awful lot about his situation. But. Um, to bring, bring more players in, well, he, they're certainly not short of money. They've shown that, and uh, the owners are quite happy to back him. But I think he must be very happy with what he's got. Score prediction for tonight? What's your, what you say? Oh, it's a 4 0 tonight, John. Nice. It's a 4 0. Got to get a clean sheet, that's what we want, and a, and a bucket full of goals. Okay, and um, keep tuned to 100% LCFC because we'll be previewing the Bournemouth game on Saturday as well. Uh, from me, John Sinclair and Alan Young. Enjoy, enjoy the, ma the match tonight and have a safe journey. It's your city, your team, we're still Premier League.